Look, there's a snake. I have to try and get rid of him. So there he is, snake. What you want to do is get him like this. I don't want to try and hurt him. Okay, now we got rid of the snake. It's all gone. Um, we're going to go to the school now. Yeah, I've got to take my passport into the school. They want to check my visa and stuff. So, um, yeah. I'm going to go some lunch or something. Okay, so I've just stopped off to get the bike washed. Um, it hasn't had a wash for about oh, three months. So it's overdue, really overdue for a wash. Um, yeah, I still want to get it painted soon, but honestly, I haven't seen that color of the car that I painted the car in the sun yet, so I really want to see it in the sun before I take it for a paint ever than that color. So it's good, this car wash. It's, um, we've got drinks here, complimentary drinks, I think. I think they're complimentary anyway. <laughs> Might get a Fanta. So it's all finished, nice and clean, just like a new one. Look at that. All right. Go. Cheers. All right, so it's 80 baht, but um, I give them 200 because they do a good job. Sometimes. All right, here we are. We're at my school. We're just going to check my passport stuff. And um, here we'll go have some lunch after this. I'll find out when I start school too. Should be interesting. I hope it's wild. Oh. Alright, I'll turn my camera off. Okay, so perfect. So I start class in July. So that's good. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna go to Sarnies, I think. Remember that time we went with uh, Michael and Anthony? Sarnies? Before I crashed my drone. So we'll go there, have some lunch. Okay, so here we are. The Sarnies. So let's go have some lunch. I'm starving. I don't think I showed you the menu last time. So this is all the menu. So I've got all breakfast here. Scrambled eggs menu. I might get the bacon sandwich, bacon and cheese sandwich I think. I don't know what I want. So yeah, we'll give it a bite. Alright, let's have a look. How refreshing does that look? Huh? Look at that. Strawberry soda. So bloody hot today. I think it's the hottest day all year. I'm sweating like a blind lesbian in a fish market. My lunch, it's a pork tenderloin with creamy mustard sauce, french fries, and a nice salad. So it looks great. It's like a seeded mustard with Dijon mustard and cream. So that looks great, very happy about that. Okay, so let's talk about the visa. I've just got back from Laos. I've got another educational visa for one more year, one more year in Thailand. This will be my last educational visa. Next year, I will be going on the Thai Leap visa which is 500,000 baht for five years. I'm just over visa runs. It's a lot more easy and it's the way to be, I think. So next year, I will be going on a Thai Elite visa. Um, I actually do go to school. I was going to school last year. Um, so some people have been asking if I do go to school. I do go to school. So a lot of people have been asking why I don't speak Thai. I actually suffer from dyslexia, um, which is a true story. Um, I've been suffering it for most of my life, unfortunately. Um, you know, it's not easy to grow up with. And yeah, so I'm not gonna to go too much into that. So um, I do find learning a new language hard. And I will be turning 40 this year. I'm turning 40 in August. So, um, you know, it's not easy for, and Thai is one of the hardest languages to learn. So anyway, I'm not gonna go into that. That's my story. 
Um, you can all think of it as much as what you want. So I went to Laos. I flew from Bangkok to Udon Thani. Um, I met the tour guide or the tour company um, in Udon, as you all know. Okay, so the tour company that I went through, um, they actually provided like a package, which is um, six, six and a half thousand baht, and you catch a bus from, um, from Bangkok to Laos. You leave on a Sunday night at five o'clock, and you get to Laos, I think, the next morning. Um, I didn't want to do that. I wasn't going to sit on a bus for 10 hours, especially on those minibuses, they're a death machine. So I flew to Udon Thani, as you all know. I met the tour company the next day at my hotel. They took me through the Laos. I missed all the queues, um, especially you saw the queue in the, um, in the embassy, in the Thai embassy in Laos. If not, here it is, playing behind me. Um, it was huge, the queue was huge. I think they processed 1,200 visas that day. That's how busy they were. So luckily being with the tour company that I went with, they pretty much took hold of everything. Um, they give you your hotel, your food, your transport to and from Bangkok, um, which in my case I did my own, I, I flew. Um, but they pay for your visas into Laos. They also pay for the visa at the, um, at the embassy, which was um, 2,000 baht. Um, the visa into Laos is 1,300 baht. So that alone, you're looking at 3,400. They also give you a, a hotel and food. Um, hotel wasn't really that great. Um, it was okay for one night. I couldn't have stayed there much longer. Um, food, I didn't even try the food, I went out. Okay, so the whole cost was 6,500 baht. I highly recommend to use a visa company, especially if it's your second educational visa. It just makes life so much easier. Okay, so they leave Bangkok every Sunday and Wednesday around about 5.30 from their office. I'm gonna leave their details in the description below. You contact them. Yeah, and I was in and out within an hour. Some people there would have been there all day, I'm sure of it. Um, when I went to go pick up the visa, I had number, um, I think number 120. There were people coming up to collect their visas and they were 840. And to pick the visas up, it was a number by number, so it was consecutive numbers. So. So you'd have to sit there all afternoon till about probably four o'clock the next day to pick up your visa. Total process was easy. They jumped me back into Udon Thani. I flew from Udon Thani back to Bangkok. Um, and that was it. It was simple, it was easy. I highly recommend visa tour companies. I always never used to believe in them. I always used to think, oh, why bother? But after the progress that I just went through, it was amazing. I highly recommend it and um, yeah, especially if it's your second educational visa. If there's any more questions that you need to know, please leave them in the description and I'll be happy to answer them. I hope you're well and um, we'll speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.